All right, some freezing temperatures, as you all know, outside, but it didn't stop the college lacrosse teams from playing today. Holy Cross playing at night, the Assumption women playing this afternoon. We have got your highlights, beginning with the Crusaders taking on Brown in men's lacrosse tonight. Rowan Hart, the talented freshman, leading the Crusaders. Second quarter, 9-4 Brown. Holy Cross is Dan O'Connell on the run, fires, and Phil Goss makes the save. Third quarter now, Jackson Newsom ripples, and it's 12-4 Brown. Holy Cross is Justin Linsky with a twine finder. 12-5 game. Brown finding Jake Miller and the long stick with a dodge. Cranks up top corner. 13-5 Brown. That's a pretty goal. Mike Penapinto feeding the crease. Luke McCaleb with a quick stick goal. 14-5 Brown in front. Holy Cross is Kevin Codzis. On the ISO, his shot, and Goss is there for the save. Good battle after the play. Penapinto with a laser for the goal. It's 15-5 Brown. So you want to be a goalie. Cannon hits Goss in the shoulder. Ouch. He makes a save, and he covers up as well. He is a good goalie, and the goalies are all a little bit crazy. Brown skips it over to Brian Prigmore. He rips and scores. 16-5 Brown, Brown. Goes on to get the victory tonight. 19 to 8 is your final. Former Westboro star Sabrina Goble leading Bentley at 25th ranked Assumption in women's lacks today. First half, 3 3 game. Sarah Riley feeds Callie Dwyer. Dwyer on the ISO, going strong to the net. Just saved. Down the other end. Bentley attacking, firing on, and Assumption with the save. Kira Gosher. Assumption's Kaylin Hart. On the ISO, rolling back, fires, saved by Bentley, but a penalty on the Falcons. So Hart gets the eight meter. Hart, short side for the goal. 4-3, Hounds in front. Bentley with an eight meter. Julia Glavin. Glavin denting the mesh, and we're all tied at four apiece. Assumptions, Amanda Burns. Taking it to the net, Burns. Splits the defense. Yeah! Ripples. 5-4 assumption in front. But Bentley comes back and the Falcons assumption get the goal win. Number 19 now Burns. Is your final this afternoon. WPI taking on Nichols, New England Baseball Complex. The only place where baseball is being played right now. Scoreless. Top of the first. Runners in scoring position. Nichols, Kyle Bouchard with a sacrifice fly to center. Chris Anderson tagging. He scores, and the Bison are on the board. It's 1-0 Nichols. Next batter is Christian Nakari. Ground ball into right field. Cam Cook being waved home. Here comes Cook. Here comes the throw. Cook scores 2-0 Bison in front. WPI's David Larson getting the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom of the first. Runners in scoring position. WPI Stephen Gallagher with the bloop to center. Ryan Trapiano coming around the bases. He scores. 2-1, the Bison's lead cut in half. Bases loaded now for Tyrone Patterson. Dribbler through the gap in short. Evan LaCroix coming in to score. We're all knotted up at two apiece. Next batter, Jordan DiDonato. Sack fly to right center. Gallagher's tagging. You can see him right there. He tags. He scores. WPI with a 3-2 lead. Bottom of the second. Nichols, Vincent Amato reaching back and gets a strikeout on the hill. Two on for former burn coach standout Matt Howard. Howard giving the cow high to Joyride. It's over and it is out. A three run home run for Howard. He sends Tropiano and LaCroix to the dish as well. Engineers up 6 2. Nichols just chipping away, chipping away. And the Bison get the win. 10 to 8 is your final. Aspet Regional, former Aspet Regional standout Kevin Curley getting the win for Nichols. Well, the Holy Cross football team practicing tonight. It is the fifth practice of the spring for the Crusaders. Now, they are getting used to a new system and a new coaching staff as well. But perhaps the biggest change is the venue for Holy Cross. They are practicing in the new indoor turf facility, the Luth Athletic Complex. We have some video of them practicing tonight. Hey, how about that, huh? They're practicing indoors it is a far cry from being outside in the below freezing temperatures. 
Uh, it just takes like the whole uh, cold aspect out of your mind, and you can just really focus on football. So it's been absolutely awesome. Yeah, no question. The indoor has been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to actually you know learn a new offense as opposed to go out there and freezing freezing weather all bundled up and uh, you know the winds howling. It's harder to hear things. I mean, inside here, it's uh, we can kind of settle in and put the plays in as opposed to have to scream everything across the field. And it's just been great. And obviously the weather too. It's a lot easier to you know throw the ball and run the ball and do all that and, uh, in, inside than outside right now. Of course, if you're a quarterback like Jeff Wade. Man, throwing the ball inside versus being outside in 15 degree temperatures. But really, phenomenal, phenomenal complex. And for the whole team, just to be able to practice indoors in a warm facility, getting a lot of work done this spring are the Crusaders. Their spring game will be April 14th. That will be outside. Worcester Academy's Aaliyah Boston named the Gatorade Massachusetts Girls Basketball Player of the Year. It's the second year in a row that Boston has won the award. Boston averaged 21 points, 14 rebounds, six blocks a game. She had four triple-doubles, 19 double-doubles, leading Worcester Academy to a 23-1 record and the NEPSAC Class AA title. Boston is the number two recruit in the nation in the class of 2019 by Blue Star Basketball. And Gino Ariema, the coach of UConn, is a regular down at Worcester Academy watching her games. There are a lot of teams. Every team in the nation wants her. But she's narrowing that list down, and UConn's on that list. Stats like that, you can't beat it. Congrats Incredible. to her. Man, well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.